I am Nathan David Evans speaking to you on behalf of the webyeshiva.org. I'm going to talk about Hanukkah, which starts this coming Sunday evening. And I want to look at one particular aspect of Hanukkah. And basically, I want to talk about how one spark of light can lead us out of the darkness of our lives. What is Hanukkah about? During the second temple period, approximately well, over 2,000 years ago, a couple hundred years before the, uh, uh, the current era, the Jews in Israel were under the dominion of the Syrian Greeks. And the job of the Greeks, their sole intent was to keep the Jews from worshiping their God, from carrying out their religion as they wanted to. And instead, they wanted to make them adopt the Hellenistic practices of the time. They forbid many things that were the, the basic undershearings of being a Jew. And finally, the Hashmonian royal, royal family decided enough is enough. Even though they are uh, outnumbering us unbelievably, we're going to fight them. And they attacked the Greek army. The Greek army was the at that time one of the largest armies in the world. a small band of Jews against this great military army. What happened next? After they defeated the army, they went back into the Holy Temple in Jerusalem to clean it out because the Greeks had defiled it. And they wanted to light the menorah. The menorah being the, the symbol of God's light to the world. But they could only find, after much looking, one uncontaminated small vial of oil, enough to last, enough to last only for one day to light the menorah. They used it, and in fact, it lasted for eight days. And that is why when we light the menorah, in our time, we light one light the first day, two the second day, and so on, until all eight on the eighth day. A year after this victory, the sages declared this as a holiday, uh, Hanukkah. And the question is, are we observing this holiday because of the military victory or because of the miracle of the lights, the miracle of finding this small vial of oil? We've seen throughout Jewish history, not only ancient history, but our own modern history in the state of Israel, many military victories. But we don't have a holiday for these military victories. We had uh, victories over hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people who were against the Jewish people. We had victories. We don't make a holiday over that. We make a holiday over this miracle of light. So what, what is this? What is this all about? God gives us the ability to have this as the Tibo Shalom calls it, Kusta de Chiusa. What does that mean? That's, it means the, the spark of life, the spark of life. When you go to plant a plant in the ground, put a seed in the ground, before the 
seed can sprout and grow into a plant, it basically completely disintegrates. But then it starts sprouting. It starts sprouting from this little spark of life that was in it. The Jewish people were so down at the time that it looked hopeless. How could they possibly compete and prevail over this enemy who wanted to suppress their religion? But God provided this kusta de chiusa, this spark. Oil, a little vial of oil that we used to light the menorah. And we learn by the, the way in which we light the menorah. There was a dispute between Hillel and Shammai, the two schools, where Shammai says, you should start lighting eight candles, then go down to one. And Hillel says, no, we start with one, go up to eight, because we have to realize that when God gives us the ability to, to see in the darkness, we can't let that light be only a momentary light and then be gone from our lives, but we have to continue it every single day to grow on it, to build on it. So therefore, it's greater the second day, and the third day, and fourth day, and so on. This spark of light is accessible to all of us if we but look for it. And the, the name Hanukkah also comes from the, the Hebrew word Chinuch, which is to teach. And Hanukkah comes to teach us, both adults and children, that if we but look for it, God is always giving us this spark of light to light up the darkness in our lives. It also teaches us, and this is the, the, the fact that this particular, that Hanukkah comes out during this particular Torah reading of Ayeshev. There's no coincidence, no coincidences in life. Ayeshev is the beginning of the story of the the difficulties that Joseph had with his brothers, where they ultimately, they hated him and sold him into Egypt. But then ultimately, and we see this in, in two, in, in Parsh of Yigash, which is another two weeks, when the brothers came together and they all finally, and, and Joseph, Joseph recognized him, but they, they finally recognized Joseph. He didn't hate them for what they had done. He, in fact, showed them great love, and he demonstrated that love to them. And he had this spark of life that was within him that enabled us to do it. When, when, when God accepts our repentance, our tshuva, that turns us into a new person. And we're not, it's not like just God is forgetting about what we did. It's we've no longer done it. We're a of that love, the light of being able to find this small vial of oil shows the love of God for his people, that we are able to, first of all, see the spark of light and then use it to light up the flames in our souls, to dispel the darkness within us, and with that, the darkness in society. I thank everybody for listening on behalf of the webyeshiva.org. I wish everybody a, uh, first of all, a Shabbat Shalom, and then a Hanukkah Sameach, a Hanukkah, where when we light the candles, let's not just light them in a hurry and run away, but let's sit and stare at them and understand, take it into our souls, understand how this life this light of the menorah, this light of the menorah can help us get through every moment of our days. Shabbat Shalom, Hanukkah Sameach.